Yo, what's up guys? It's Kevin here at the Oligarch store. Now, I wanted to jump on and check in with you guys because I haven't seen a lot of the action since Essence happens. Quick shout out to some of our Aussie friends here that flew over there. They really, I feel like they represented the Aussie community very well. Marcelo from NFC, our dear friend of course. Lee Logans, um, Mark from Fragrance Photos on Instagram as well. So a bunch of the Aussies came to represent us at Essence, which is great to see. A shout out to my friend Alex from Korea. He got me a gift from Italy, this Tom Ford polo that you see here, and he had passed it on to Marcelo to bring it over, well, bring it down to Australia to me. So thank you, Alex, for this gift. It was very, very kind of you, my friend. Alex is opening up his own store in Korea soon, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Now, last week, I actually posted um, a Q&A, like a question box on our Instagram. I did get a bunch of questions from you guys, so we're gonna answer them here. So the first question is from Spikey1. The question is, best smoky going out fragrance for men. Now, I've been wearing a lot more of the new releases because being here at the store, I need to, you know, like test drive these fragrances to kind of see how they um, project on my skin, how long they last. These are questions that customers are always gonna ask me. So the one that I've been wearing a lot, the new release from Zahara. This here is called Leather Tobacco. Absolute powerhouse of the scent. Very deep, very dark, very smoky. You know, here in Australia, we're heading into our winter. It's starting to get much colder now. And I'm finding that a lot more people are wanting something very deep and with very big projection because you find in the winter, a lot of your perfumes that you might have in your collection don't, don't probably perform as well when it's very, very crisp and cold outside. But leather to back is, the projection is crazy. It's crazy. Performance wise, I'm getting eight to 12 hours. I'm really waiting for us to get a real cold, cold week where it's gonna be like under 15 to really test drive this. The leather to back, so you have this really beautiful, fresh tobacco in it. A touch of sweetness from the top, but for me, what I always get that projects off my skin is actually all the incense, the frankincense, the myrrh, all those really classic smoky notes. It is a very masculine fragrance. Um, so if you want this for, you know, going out to dinner on like dinner dates, if you're going to have like a boys night, maybe like a boys night dinner, like catch up and you want something that's very masculine, you want to stand out with really big projection, then check out the leather to back here. Question number two that I have is from Sense with Maca. And the question is, what is your best recommendation for a fruity floral feminine fragrance. My recommendation that I'm thinking is, um, I've got two, actually I've got two. These ones are ones that I love dearly, but they don't get enough love in terms of the brands. It's perfect time for me to kind of bring these out because if you're in the store, then I get like, you know, two hours with you to show you around all the brands, all the hidden gems. Um, but on these videos, I only have enough time to show you like one or two fragrances. These two, I want you guys to check out, I want you guys to explore. One is by Christian Provenzano. This one's called Fleur de si. And the second one is by Elma Parfums or Delma Parfums from Switzerland. This is called Leilani. Now, the Leilani, what I get in the top is always this really um, creamy peach note. For me, when I smell it, I pick up like a lychee. I think I've said it before, but I pick up a lychee. There's this sugary sweetness to the fruits, which is beautiful. And then you get this uh, blend of white florals, like magnolia, jasmine, those kind of florals there. So it's quite versatile. You could do, you know, every day, Monday to Friday, or you could do this as a, your weekend of scent as well. Now, the second recommendation for you, for all the women that are looking for fruity, floral, feminine fragrance, this has got to be one of my favorites from Christian Provenzano. Now, Fleur de la Cie is less sweet. So if you're wanting something more uh, very girly and sweet, youthful, playful, then Lalani is that one. This one here, Fleur de Cie, I find is more of your elegant, classic feminine fragrance. So very sophisticated. When I smell this, I think upper class. I think going out to your five-star dinners, going out to those, if you've been asked to go out on a dinner date, or if you're going out with the girls, someone's birthday dinner, and then, you, then you're gonna have like a girls' night drinks afterwards, then Fleur de Cie is something for that. It is that, you know when you smell a perfume and you think, oh, special occasion scent. Question number three that I have, Mr. Tony 12. Mr. Tony 12, he's asked, what fragrance du bois perfume is good for summer heat, both masculine and unisex? The first one that I need to go for that's the masculine 
it's gonna be one of the newer releases from the brand. It is London Spice. If you guys have ever had your nose on London Oud, it's like your classic British gentleman in a suit and tie, James Bond kind of vibes, right? London Spice is like the brother perfume to that. So this fragrance still keeps that very classy gentleman's atmosphere about the scent, except in the top you have this um, beautiful spearmint. It's much more fresh. You have uh, citrus, but it doesn't focus on uh, citrus with bergamot lemon, although it, it does have bergamot in it, but it's more like the citrus freshness with mint. So it has this element of a little bit of greenness, and that's why I think it's perfect for, perfect for summer. Fresh, but different from everyone wearing blue scents. Everyone's gonna be wearing aquatic scents, right? And this, I think, has more of this classy tone to it. When I smell this scent, London Spice, I think of guys like, who's the Nespresso guy? George, uh, George Clooney. I think of George Clooney with this scent. I think of Brad Pitt, right? It's a very Daniel Craig. This is that style. The second part of that question was unisex as well, okay? So for unisex, Patel's de Cashmere, okay? This one here is actually probably one of the first loves that I had for Fragrance du Bois. Oh, oh man. When I take off the cap, I can just Oh man, that's good. <laughs> this one is, it tackles the summer heat in a different way. So no citrus. It doesn't really use citrus for the freshness. What it uses is really, really cool. It's a very cool blend of fruits with florals. So that's why I find that this, this definitely sits more unisex. I've had men and women both buy this. It is one of the more underrated, probably call this the hidden gem of Fragrance du Bois. Oh, but it's really, really good. This here, I think, tackles the, uh, the more everyday scenarios, whereas London Spice, I think, is very classy. You save it for Friday nights, for the weekends, for special occasions. And Patel's de Cashmere is one that you'd wear Monday to Friday. You'd wear this very, very easily to work to the office. You could also wear this in the daytime, Saturday, Sunday, like a brunch scenario. Isn't so much evening. I think daytime when the sun is out, this is perfect for that. Question four is from Paranormal DJ. Paranormal DJ has asked, What's your best niche beast mode perfume at the moment? I've got to say the one that everyone has been coming in to try. I have been forcing everyone to put on skin instead of card because I think, don't waste it on a piece of paper. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, oh, damn. Two gems in this here. That means that it is the, uh, this is by Bodicea the Victorious. This luxury perfume here is Blue Sapphire Supercharged. This is Blue Sapphire's meaner, tougher, bigger brother. <laughs> the rejection on this is insane. I don't want to waste it on a piece of paper because this is close to $2,000. So we're going to wear this tonight. The only thing I'm doing tonight after I close the shop is going to the gym. So if you're going to my gym, I apologize in advance. You'll probably hear me when I walk through the gym doors. <laughs> Let's go! Just... One spray is enough. What's the best niche beast mode? Beast mode, I think people take it differently. I think for the most part, everyone means a very big projector, long lasting scent. A lot of people associate it with oud style scents just by nature. That's I think that's how they perform on most people. This does have oud in it. And this for me, is the Blue Sapphire has always been the top of the top that sits best on my skin. Maybe because it's expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Supercharged now takes the beast mode to a whole nother level. So I'm finding that the original Blue Sapphire, which is here, the original one had, you know, really beautiful saffron. There's like orange, nice sweetness from the ambers um, and all those dark spices with the oud. This one, I actually find the deepness and the darkness of, of the oud come out a little bit more. It's almost like it's got more the depth of leathers, you know? It's got more smokiness, it's darker. I can't really tell you, it's very, very hard to describe the, the difference. It's not as sweet. Well, I wouldn't even call Blue Sapphire sweet, but it doesn't have the same level of sweetness because it goes much more smoky and deep. And so, oh, Jesus Christ, that's good. And a lot of saffron, a lot of spiced. It's almost like some, it's almost like spiced caramel in it, but it's very smoky. Oh. Man, that's good. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Any of my customers who have worn this on the skin can attest. I hope you guys can jump in the comments and let people know. Thanks for your questions. I'm gonna do more Q and A's again. I'm gonna put these Q and A's on our Oligarch Instagram, so follow us there. Follow me as well on Instagram. It's just Kev underscore Trung if you wanna see all the shenanigans that I get up to at the shop. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, ciao.